So I've had this journal for a long, long time. And I started a long time ago writing out just prayers and letters for Good, Lindsay. I started writing prayers and letters just to give to my future husband on the day of our wedding. And so I've been writing them for like 10 years. And I have them all in here. Um, so I'm going to read you the first one that I ever wrote. Dear future husband, I don't know if I have met you already or if God will cross our paths sometime in the future, but I'm doing my best to live according to God's will. So I can't imagine who the man is that he has set aside for me. I know whoever you are will be an amazing man of God. I'm so excited to grow with you in a spiritual way. I pray you continuously fill God's love. And speaking of love, I'm sure God is teaching me all about his great love so I can truly know how to love you. I don't know who you are and I don't know where you are in this world right now, but what I do know is that we are designed to complete each other. I remember my dad calling my mom throughout the day to see how our days go, and just to talk. I always told myself that would never be me. I always wondered how couples made it for decades together without tearing each other apart. But since I've come to know you, I see now that how that's possible. You're who I want to see when I open my eyes in the morning, and the last person I want to see before I close them at night. Especially me being younger than her, I've gotten to look up to her as a younger sister would to an older sister. Your admirable big heart um, and your passionate love for others, like we can clearly see with her kids that she teaches, um, precious souls that she teaches. I have not seen another teacher that is as passionate as Lindsay is about her kids. It's amazing. Lindsay, Mike would come over to our house almost every single day, and this lasted for about two years, and then we asked him one night when he was going to beat someone, because it wasn't going to be at our house. <laughs> so we set him up with a Bumble account after a lot of um, coercion. After some trial and error, he finally met Lindsay, and when he came over after their first date, we knew something had changed. And it goes like this. <laughs> oh, you look beautiful, Lindsay Lou. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 You yes, your boobs are huge. <laughs> How are you? How are you? Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Good. The dress looks amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see the shoes. <laughs> nice. Hey, Lindsay Lou, I promise to be faithful to you through both the good the and bad times. To support your dreams, to be your confidant, to be the person you can depend on when you're stressed, scared, or anxious. I promise to give you all the anaconda squeezes you desire. <laughs> yes! To give you all the Lindsay I know is you <laughs> and then kiss you on the forehead. Right now? Not yet. No, oh, please! And it goes like this. Well, just one question. Are y'all ready to get this knot tied? <laughs> You're the dream guy, Floyd. That's just the best way to explain it. You're my dream. And to protect this perfect dream, I must make some pretty big promises. Not only to you, but to myself. Well, all the family and friends that are here, and I know many of you come from a long way. I've been very fortunate to have known this beautiful thing on the right here. It's my right hand side for a long, long time. And, and come to know and appreciate Michael and I realize that they are two individuals that are incredible Christians. Together, think about what they're going to be. God created you just for me and me just for you. And I couldn't be more grateful. And I can't believe that you're mine. I promise I will protect what we have and I will love you with everything that I have until death do us part. 
Ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Michael Floyd. <laughs> better person to share that title with. So it's both Lindsay and Michael, my best friend and sister, and my new brother and both of us now. You've been my best friend for almost as long as I've known you. And I hope to do nothing but increase our friendship throughout the rest of our lives together. I see the person that wants nothing but the best for me and those that I love. I see the person that goes out of her way to make me laugh when I've had a rough day. When I look at you, I see my best friend. I promise all these things for as long as we both shall live. I love you, Lindsay and Kelvin. <sighs> Lindsay, I knew it was you. <laughs> <laughs> That's from the Godfather. If you've never seen that before, I'm sorry. I love it. Ah, okay. <laughs>